Hey guys, welcome back for another Jython image manipulation video. And today we're going to stretch out an image. Now this is actually a little bit more complicated than it sounds. So let's get started. Um, let me open up JS. There you go. And let's save file under uh, JS. It's got stretch like that. Dot Python. And let's make a function. Let stretch like that. And what this stretch will do is it'll take an image and it'll stretch it either uh, horizontally or vertically or both horizontally and vertically so our, our objective is to make this function as flexible as possible so we're going to pass in a picture that we want to stretch and then we're going to specify um, the width stretch and by default I'll just set that to 1 and the uh, height stretch also equal to 1 by default and so if they're both 1 that would mean that we were not actually not stretching our image at all and since we're getting the user to enter these values um, we want to make sure that they're um, positive and whole numbers so with stretch is going to equal the absolute value and the whole number of with stretch. So for example, if the user enters uh, negative one, then this will be one by default. Or if they enter like 1.3, then that'll also equal one. It's just so that we don't have uneven an uneven width stretch. We just we want a width stretch to be a whole number or else we'd be um, stretching only a fraction of an image and that's actually a lot harder to do. Well at least for this tutorial it would be. And the same thing for the height stretch. Copy this over and change this to height. And there you go. Next up, um, we want to create a new image with um, the same, with actually a different height and width as the original image. And how different? Well, we want the same um, width and height of this picture multiplied by how much stretch we actually want. So the width and the height. Let's get those, get width of the picture, and get height of the picture. Now our, uh, let's call it stretched image. It's going to make empty a picture. So we're making an empty canvas proportional to. Um, a new width which is going to be the previous width w times the width stretch that our user passes in and also proportional to um, h times uh, the height stretch okay so that's pretty self-explanatory we're just making a new canvas and we're making sure that it's it's going to fit what were the dimensions of the new image we're going to output. And what we're going to output is this stretched image which is currently blank and has a white background. Okay, so now we, we are going to loop through the pixels of picture. So for y in the range of 0 to h dot height stretch and we're going to hop over height stretch and why I, did I do this? 
Um, the reason is we are going to loop through the height of the stretched image but in intervals of the height that we specified. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm planning to split our image into smaller cells and each of those cells would technically be its own image. Um, I'll have a visual representation for you very soon so um, just bear with me I will clear your mind very soon about that. So for x in x range of 0 to w times the width stretch and the width stretch again. Oops, there's no s right here. And same thing for the x, we're iterating through the um, width of this image and we're skipping every with stretch possible. Okay, cool. Um, so now let me just see if I can print this out for you. Um, okay, set the color of... Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, okay, cat Y and we are going to return pick. Okay, let me get a demonstration so you guys actually understand what's going on and are not confused by those two for loops. Um, y equals um, picture, pick a file, and I'm going to go with Phone images. This one will be fine. Let me show it to you guys. And it's like that supernova picture again. Yeah, I really need to get some new pictures. Okay. Um. Actually, this isn't complete. I want to set the color of um this pixel, but to what color? Let's set it to um, black. Let's say. Okay, sweet. Now I shouldn't get any errors. Um, so i equals the stretch of y. Um, we're going to stretch it twice horizontally and twice vertically. Let's try that and we are getting an error right here. It says set the color of this pixel. Um, I want to set it to color black. And it says a uh, new pick is not fine globally. Of course, because I named my image stretch image, not new pick as I usually do. Let's try that again. And it doesn't recognize this new pick either. You guys probably saw that coming. Okay, so let me show you guys what I looks like and show I. So if you can, you guys can see. Um, uh, this image has a bunch of uh, black spots and those black spots are pixels that indicate the start of a new cell and when I say cell I'm referring to like an image inside of an image a region inside the image in which all the color values are going to be the same in this case because we're trying to stretch the image. Now, if I increase the um, what is it? The width stretch and the, the height stretch, it becomes even more obvious. So let me just do that. Um, now you can see from my image that these black dots will indicate uh, a complete cell like they're not as bunched up together so if we take like this one right here this would fill up this whole cell with black okay hope I didn't make that too confusing but you guys will see in a sec it's not that bad so um, 
let's say that the color of this current pixel is going to equal to get color of the pixel and the um, this picture at the coordinates x divided by the width stretch and y divided by the height stretch. I have to divide by width stretch and height stretch because I'm hopping over them right here. And remember this is getting pixels inside the the original image, not the new image in which we're assuming we're looping through here. And I don't think I should have any of that. And I think that's good. Okay, let's go back. Um, so we got our color. Now the next step is to loop through the pixels inside the cell. And the cell being that internal, Im uh, that internal uh, image as I refer to it, or like to refer to it. So for uh, a cell, a y coordinate in the cell, uh, in the range of our current y position, and our y plus the height stretch. Then for an x position in the cell, um, which is going to be x plus x plus the width stretch. Now we can grab pixels inside the cell. And what's really neat about this is even if um, height stretch and width stretch is equal to 1, um, this block of code will not be affected by it. So, or at least I think so. <laughs> we'll have to test it out later. Um, so our target pixel is going to be able to get a pixel from our new picture. Um, actually, no, 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 no. I named it something else. It's called the stretch image. There you go. And the cell X and the cell Y. So we're getting a target pixel within our cell. And then we, we are setting the color of that target pixel to the color of our starting pixel, which was that black pixel you saw a while ago. But in our case, while we're looping through an image, it's not necessarily going to be black. It will most likely be any random combination of color. So, um, so the target pixel and color. Sweet. And that's all we need to do to stretch an image. So as I said, this actually turned out to be a bit more complicated than I intended it to be, but hey, oh well, hold on, I need to bring this up, there you go. So um, remember Y is our original image and we want to stretch, we want to stretch it by a factor of 2 horizontally. So when we run this, um, it's doing its thing. And let me show you I. Now, I is, as you can see, twice as stretched in the horizontal direction as Y, which is our original. So this was the original, and this is the stretched uh, horizontally. Now, if we want to stretch it vertically, We'd say the same thing, set one here, two there, and that should do a thing, and our supernova should stretch downwards. And I have a super long image, and I can't show you guys the rest of it, but it goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, sweet. Now, and you can actually put like any values you want, you can make it. 3 by 2 stretch, a 5 by 5, and a million by million, but that would take a little long time. So, recap on all this craziness. We define a function called stretch. 
And what we want to do with it is just stretch an image either uh, horizontally, vertically, or both. We make sure those are whole numbers and positive. Um, next, we get the width, the height, and we make a new image, a new variable or a picture object called stretched image, and that's going to be a new blank image. Um, but it's got new dimensions, which are our uh, original pictures with multiplied by how much we want to stretch it by and the height multiplied by how much we want to stretch that by. Next, we decide to loop through um, the we, we decide to loop through um, the stretched image. We could have just as easily uh, looped through the original picture and in that case we I would have to switch some things around but essentially we'd be multiplying here um, instead in a different variation of it but we decided to loop through the stretched image so we can get um, a visual image of how cells work so we get our starting pixel our starting color um, we don't actually get the pixel we just get the color and we and this color is going to be the color that will fill in the rest of the cell and the cell is as I say uh, another kind it's like another it's a region in the image in which all the pixels are going to be the same color and then we get all the pixels within that region and we call that target pixel and we set the color target pixel to the color of our of the starting pixel right there and then we return the stretched image and everything's cool so guys I hope you learned something and thank you for watching I'll see you guys later